This is Grayson with Tomb Raider for PlayStation 4, playing it on the PlayStation 5. So you may not recognize this area because it was one of the very first areas that we were in. Uh, so what I decided to do um, was that I wanted to go back and collect some of this stuff uh, that's going to kind of give you some more background on the story. Plus I was planning on doing this, um, this area over here. Um, I won't bother showing you guys the GPS things, but I will show you the documents and the relics. So, I'll be cutting in and out for the first portion of all of this. I'll come back and we'll play through this and that'll hopefully be like one sitting. And then after that, I'll kind of like juggle it back and forth. Um, but we may take some time to um, collect some of this stuff. Uh, it looks like I can probably do a couple of these. But um, I know we're getting close to the end of the game and I wanted to give you a pretty good experience at least. So, um, oh, okay, so that's actually not anything that I needed to really show you. So, maybe I'll head over here. And th it's not that far. Cool. So we can go over here and we can collect this thing. Where was it? There it is. Aha! Found you. This mask was used in the traditional Japanese no theater. I think it represents a demon, or Oni. Oh. There's a price tag. Looks like this one is a replica. Darn. It... It happened again. Private Kosuke. He was on gate duty last night. No one heard anything. And this morning, they found his helmet. Nothing else. No tracks of his leaving. No blood. No shell casings. Nothing. The others are talking about Chinese partisans. Maybe even American GIs. Damn fools! They have no idea what's happening here. It is the Oni who stalk us. The restless, evil spirits. They live in the old places of this island. We are trespassers here. And they are watching us. Waiting. All these wrecks, the ruins, this entire island is a graveyard. It's only a matter of time. The Oni will come for us. And I think we're back by now because now it's time to do this shrine that I've been holding off on doing. So the main reason why I've been holding off on doing it is because I actually needed the grenade launcher in order to completely explore this area. Um, it's interesting that they would actually make us uh, get the grenade launcher this er not I mean, not necessarily this early on, but I guess it also gives the game, like, more playtime as well, if you, like, want to explore everything. I can't do that now. Yes, you can, because you're about to. There we go. Alright, cool. So we'll do that. And then... Because uh, I've, I've been purposely not going through this area, just so that way... Um, that way we can kind of like go through it all in one go. So... Uh, let's go ahead and... Do this. Because they did introduce us to the fire thing. I had no idea that would work as a ramp. I'm so glad that I figured it out this very first time because I've never played this game before. Up, oh, can't get up there. Darn, where do I go? This is the way to go. Okay, now what do I do with this? Gee, that looks like flammable stuff. Hey, yeah. Oh, wait. There's got to be a way to raise it up higher. Yes, there should be a way. Let's see if we can figure it out. Um, hmm. There's... Now, of course, I don't remember this exactly and perfectly and, like, exactly what to do. So, I might be running around back and forth on 
places that like I don't necessarily remember that I need to be at that exact moment. But wait, this is something that I remember. Ah ha! So that's what I needed a grenade launcher for. And of course, you need this. Cha cha, cha cha. Is there more? Yes. Cha. Oh, you dig a tree. Um, oh, hey. Maybe not so much on the dig a tree. Open that up. Collect that. Hey, hey. Oh, no. We're gonna get a whole bunch of salvage that we can't even use just yet. Ooh, I see a lunchbox. Open the big box. Open the lunchbox. Open the lunchbox. Open the lunchbox. Salvage. Ooh, my. It's like Christmas in... Uh, what month am I in? September. Well, that doesn't sound as good. So how about we just say July? Uh, how do I get to those? Um, oh. Uh, is it something like that? I moved. So, can I do this? Aha! Uh -huh. Did not even know that would work. There's gotta be a way to get up there, right? I mean, that would just make sense. I almost want to say that even on my regular playthrough, when I first did this, like... I don't even know if I did all of this. Oh wait, if I could shoot it... Yeah! Right. So, that being the case, can I, can I knock you down? I don't know if I'm going to be able to knock you down. I can knock you down. Lunchbox. That just bothers me. I don't know how to get that one. That's okay. I don't need it. Alright, GTFO. So now we're back onto this. Um, oh wait. I mean, I could cheat. Mm, it needs something stronger. Yes, it does. Kind of blows. See something stronger. Oh. Why didn't you fall? Ah. Catches on fire. One more should do it. Alrighty, so. Uh, do we know where that one more is? Oh, it's probably right there. Um, now how do I get that? Oh, I'm in the water. Uh, question is, how do I light it on fire? Oh. Hey, hey, hey. Do that. That light's on fire. That goes over there. Chain reaction! Ah, 
Now what? We jump on the plane. And then... That cloth looks flammable. Where? What cloth? I don't see a cloth. Laura, you must be high. What cloth? I don't see a cloth. Oh my goodness, this has got to be the cloth that she's talking about. Let's see the throwing skills. Really? Nada. had to throw it in through a window. Okay, let's go, Laura. And maybe... Yeah, there we go. Finally get to do this place after waiting the entire game. Only took about, what, maybe half the episode? to relay orders to their soldiers in battle. Pretty solid. Must be made of stained cypress. Yep, that's right. We're back in the geothermal caverns. It's been hard saying that word. It took like, I don't know, three times trying to say it. So I found this. Uh, this is pretty much the last thing that we needed and then we're basically caught up with like all the side story stuff. Well, not really side story, but I mean like just learning more about the place. The years pass and I now hear her whispers in my sleep. It is the Sun Queen. She is urging me on. I see her magnificent face with every sunrise. Soon now. My Solari toil in her name, building a city from all that she has brought to the island, torturing and sacrificing in her name. Soon now, we will find the one. I long for escape, but not simply from this island. From all of this, the wrecks, bodies, and squalor. If I can bring my queen back, it will all vanish in an instant. And like the sun rising anew, she will bathe all the land and seas with her light, burning away everything. I will emerge from this scorched earth, reborn and pure. Wow, that guy is nuts. Alrighty, so we are back. Uh, we don't have too much time left, but I thought I'd uh, do a little bit more of the story just to kind of like wrap things up. Um, so I went ahead and showed you all the backstory stuff that I could for right now. Um, of course, there's going to be a little bit more backstory stuff that comes up, and hopefully I'll be able to get it all in the same episode that maybe I find things. That doesn't look too nice. Let's see. Yeah, clearly. Oh. Wolves. Like the ones in the forest. Are they breeding them? I mean, it kind of looks like it, right? There we go. 
go. Alright, so we got these. I actually didn't see that in the beginning. I was going after that salvage that's on the floor, but I guess uh, Laura saw what I didn't. Oh, hey. Yay, I've got all the caches that I wanted. So that just means more experience, and that just means more experience points. Oop. Okay. So this is all according to the story that we are following right now. Um, I'm going to see if I can try and find maybe another camp. But if I need to, I'll cut it off like right in the middle, and then we'll pick it up in the next episode. Hello, Batties. Oh, Loris could become the new Batman. I don't know if it's this way or if it's the other way. Hello? Okay, so I'm guessing it's the other way. Fine by me. Real quickly. I didn't miss anything, right? No. No, I did not. I'm assuming if I were to fall down that thing, she would die. Which we don't want to happen. No, no. Shantytown! We've already been to the Shantytown. Yeah, see? We've already gone to the Shantytown. That's right. That's right, she. You there, Laura? Alex, I've been trying to reach you all morning. We just got to the beach. Boat's in pretty bad shape. Without the right tools, we might have trouble getting it up and running. Be sure you use your help down here. See what you can do. I'm on my way. Watch yourself out there. Yeah, no kidding. Um, alright, so... I think, uh, I think we're gonna go over for a little bit. Because I did... I did take some time, showed the backstory to a couple things, um, but I think this next part's gonna be decently quick. Uh, I don't know how quick, but we'll find out. So this is pretty much where I need to go. Um, everything else that I've kind of looked at so far um, has kind of shown that it's stuff that doesn't necessarily have Laura talking or giving backstory. Or there's nobody kind of narrating about what's going on with the island. So it's all just a bunch of, like, experience. Ooh, can I make it? Can I make it? Can I make it? Ha! Ah, yeah! Alright, so now we're going to be going down to the beach. Uh, we'll see what we can do with everything else. Laura, are you there? Alex said that you're on your way down. I should be there soon. I need to tell you something. What's going on? I don't think we can leave this island. Something is keeping us here. I have to go back to the monastery. Are you sure? Yes, Sam. I need you to keep this to yourself for now. I'm going to help Reyes fix that boat, but then I'm taking it inland. Laura, well, I don't know about this. Just trust me. It's the only way. All right. You be careful. Well, Reyes is not going to be happy about that. So hopefully there's not going to be any fighting or anything like that. But, I mean, I guess we'll find out, right? Oh, I totally forgot about this part. Oh, joy. Damn it, no! Uh, okay. Mm, sure, we'll try this. It's a damn good thing she can trust that rope. I'm going to assume it's this way. Uh, we might be going over more than I expected, but hopefully with my amazing editing skills, things will be at a decent time. It's too quiet. 
Now you're supposed to say it's quiet. Too quiet. See that. Oh, well, that's a shame for you. I did not know he was a bomber. Attack right now. Stop! The whole thing is gonna fall! Please! Help! Help me! I don't wanna die! That's what I'm willing to bet too. So let's hurry up and get to the next camp. Um, because I'm pretty sure I know where I am now. I completely forgot about all of that gondola stuff. So <sighs> made it. Now, where are they? I see them. I mean I know where they are, but I'm just gonna head straight for it and then I will try and find the, um, whatchamacallit, the, uh, shrine, or the map, so that way I can grab everything in one go. 
else will do this. And in the next episode, we will be picking up with more story and hopefully maybe picking up things in one go. So, if you've been enjoying yourselves, by all means, leave a like, hit that comment button, leave a little comment. You could, of course, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that way you don't miss any more or any other episodes that are going to be coming your way. So, until then, I hope you do, of course, take care of yourselves and take care of each other. <laughs>